Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kelsey, and today we're gonna be making a tiramisu cake. So to start off, you wanna get um, a loaf pan, and you wanna oil in all of the sides, and then put cover it in saran wrap. You wanna make sure that there's a lot layover, so that way when you fill it up with all of the materials, you can cover it up and put it in the fridge to chill. So next, you're gonna start off with one and a half cups of very strong coffee. Uh, one tablespoon of dark rum and also one tablespoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. So you're just going to add it in. And then just a pinch of salt. So once you've added in all of the ingredients, you're just gonna lightly whisk it until the salt and the, and the sugar are completely dissolved. This shouldn't take too long, maybe just a few seconds. So once you're finished whisking, you wanna put it in the fridge and let it chill until it's kneaded again. So next you're gonna to wanna to get one cup of chilled heavy cream and half a cup of mascarpone and put it into a bigger bowl. And then you're going to want to whisk it until it gets into a nice creamy substance. So you're gonna stop whisking until you've reached this creamy texture and you're just gonna set it aside. So next you're gonna wanna get a saucepan. It all depends on the size. I have a medium sized saucepan right over here and you're gonna wanna fill up the water about two inches. And then you're gonna wanna put it on a medium level heat and let it come to a simmer. While the water is coming to the simmer, you're gonna wanna get a relatively large bowl, one that can fit into the saucepan. Add a third cup of sugar, two tablespoons of water, and three egg yolk into the bowl. Once your water gets to a simmer, you're gonna wanna place the bowl over it, and then lower the heat to low. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna whisk it for about five to seven minutes until it becomes a pale yellow creamy color and texture. So once it gets to this extremely pale yellow color and it ribbons over itself, it should triple in size from the very beginning. You wanna turn off the heat and remove the bowl and set it aside. Next, you're gonna to wanna to get the cream that we've already whipped and whip it again until medium peaks form. And as you can see, ours has already formed some peaks. So once the peaks form, you wanna put that aside and grab the egg mixture. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take the egg mixture and pour it over into the whipped cream mixture. And then you're gonna fold it into each other. Once you finish folding, you're gonna wanna get 24 lady fingers, the coffee mix that we've made earlier, and the pan. Once you have everything, you're gonna take each lady finger one by one and dip it into the coffee for about two seconds on each side. Once you do that and it's nice and soaked, you're gonna wanna layer it 
into the pan and you're gonna do that for one row. For this pan, it takes about eight lady fingers. It may vary based off of your pan size. So now that you've done one layer, you're gonna wanna take about a third of the filling and lay it over the soaked leaf. Once you've done that, you're gonna repeat these steps, do another set of lady fingers, another a third of filling, another set of lady fingers, and then finish the rest of the filling at the So once you finish doing the three layers, you're then going to take the remaining plastic wrap and cover the cake. Then you're gonna put it in the fridge for about six hours to let it chill. So once you've let it chill for a few hours, at least six, um, you wanna take it out of the fridge and then get another plate in order to transfer it. So when you're doing this, you wanna, re you wanna carefully remove all of the saran wrap for just the bottom layer and then flip it over. Once you've flipped it, you want to carefully remove the loaf pan and then remove the rest of the saran wrap. Now this next part is optional, but you can take some cocoa powder and just dust the top of the cake with some cocoa powder. So once you finish dusting, you have your final product right here. Make sure you try out this recipe. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Thank you.